Hi guys, I'm Francisco Salazar. And I'm David Salazar, and on this episode of Real Salazars, we're gonna talk about the Oscars. The big winner of the night was 12 Years a Slave, which won Best Picture, Best Supporting Actress, and Best Adapted Screenplay. The other big winner of the night was Alfonso Cuaron's Gravity, which took home all the technical awards, including the one that you got wrong. Best Editing, yes, yeah, right. I got one wrong when I predicted the Oscars. And Best Director, but it didn't take home the big guy. So that was actually, you know, that might have been the most suspenseful moment of the night in an otherwise rather predictable Academy Awards ceremony, right? It's, that's right, because most of the time, the film to take home the most awards is usually the best picture. And the, Gravity took home seven Not awards. last year. Well, last year was a, was a very big exception because everyone thought Ben Affleck would win Best Director, but when he didn't get nominated, it was a huge deal. But that's, that's a very weird case. Well, there was actually one point in the night when I thought Gravity was actually going to win it. And, I, you know, I thought that could, that could be okay. You know, Gravity is the, the, the amazing singular vision of one man, tons of technological advances, maybe in some ways the future of cinema. But I act I'm actually happy that 12 Years a Slave got it. It doesn't get touched upon much in Hollywood. Steve McQueen is fearless. The film is visceral, powerful, intense. And I think that it was great that they gave, they recognized you know, gravity as cinema's future and they also looked back into the past, our dark past, right. with 12 Years a Slave and they also acknowledged that. And Ellen DeGeneres said it really well at the beginning. Scenario A, 12 Years a Slave wins, or B, you're all racist. <laughs> but no, it, it was, in honesty, it was a, a really It was great a very well-deserved Oscar win, um, and it won three, like David said. Yeah. So, you know, aside from, you know, the categories, which, you know, the, the awards themselves were not very good. There was a lot of really great moments in the, in the evening. Um, but, of course, you know, there was, of course, Jared Leto and Matthew McConaughey and Lupita Nyong'o and Kate Blanchett. They all gave phenomenal speeches. I actually loved Jared Leto and Matthew McConaughey. Right. I think they were the two of the greatest moments in the entire evening. Jared Leto's speech was emotional and intense as he narrated his mother's, you know, how his mother raised him and his siblings. And then also his shout out to the Ukraine, to Venezuela, to people dying from AIDS, to people who were trying to accept themselves in the world socially. Um, and then Matthew McConaughey for me was just a master class in oration. The structure of his speech, the delivery, the charisma, I mean, it was just, you know, whether or not you, you love the content or not, right. his delivery of it was just spot on. Of course, Kate Blanchett thanked the entire universe. <laughs> Lupita Nyong'o had a very sincere um, And very emotional. emotional. Yeah. Yeah. But those, I mean, those two men from Dallas Buyers Club were just knocked out of the park in terms of speeches. So eloquent, so vibrant, so powerful. Easily for me, the top moments of the night. Right, and to summarize the awards, um, Gravity went w home with seven, 12 Years a Slave went home with three, uh, Dallas Buyers Club went home with three, and The Great Gatsby went, ho went home with two, and Warner Brothers actually took home the most awards last night. And American Hustle got zero, and I honestly thought American Hustle was gonna win. Right, and it joins True Grit and Gangs of New York as the no films nominated for 10 awards and going home with nothing. Yeah, and you know, I thought the Academy was gonna go with American Hustle you because, and I, I, you know, that was my prediction. I didn't think American Hustle was deserving, even though I love David O. Russell's film, particularly Silver, Lining, particularly Silver Linings Playbook. But in terms of American Hustle, I thought the Academy was going to keep going with their feel-good movies. Yeah, because thought, they had picked the artist and Argo in the King's Speech in the past three years. Right. And I thought, you know, feel-good movie, everyone loves Jennifer Lawrence, everyone loves Christian Bale, Amy Adams, Jeremy Renner, Bradley Cooper. David O. Russell's been nominated for almost every film in the last few years that he's made a movie. It seemed like a perfect marriage made, made in heaven, right. but... But it didn't win. <laughs> it didn't get anything. It was just actually it was the big flop of the night, if you will. And, and talking about flops, let's just talk about the worst moments of the telecast. Well, I think the worst moments, it started off really bad because the first award, which was Jared Leto's Best Supporting Actor, it was presented like 40 minutes into the show, which is so late, and it just felt so eternal. So I think that's one of the worst moments. The pacing was just eternal. It was supposed to finish at 11.30 and it ended at 12. So I was tired by the end of it. And of course there was Adina Menzel, <laughs> who I think, you know... I think that's the worst segment, just period. John Travolta just completely botched her name. He presented her as Adele Nazim or something like that. He was probably stuck last year when Adele was actually singing. <laughs> yeah, and she seven. won, yeah. And, and then Adina Menzel, her performance was just completely... There was a very unheroic moment by Harrison Ford. 
<coughs> coming on to this, this triumphant Indiana Jones music, and he's going to go present the first three Best Picture nominees. And he comes on, and I was wondering if he was on something. And he's like staring at the camera, he's mumbling, he looks upset, he looks annoyed. He's stumbling over words. It's actually, you know, what's the hell's going on? What's wrong with Harrison Ford? And, and what about Kim Novak when he, she came on with Matthew McConaughey? She just looked so awkward, out of place, and it just didn't go, out, go well with audiences. Yeah. Well, what about Dallin, Ellen DeGeneres? Um, I personally thought she was a pretty good host. I thought that there were some pretty good gags. There were some pretty spectacular jokes early on, particularly the 12 Years a Slave one that I mentioned earlier. And then she also made um, jo uh, Jonah Hill in, in Wall Street saying she saw something in that movie that she hadn't seen in a long time. That was a pretty good one. Right, and also the pizza gag. The pizza gag was hilarious. I thought that she was just joking when she said she wanted to order pizza. Right. And then she comes on stage with pizza and, you know, she starts handing it out to all the audience members, and then later on she comes on for the third act of that, of that storyline. And, and she asks Harvey Weinstein, out of all people, the person who, who knows what the Oscar campaign and how to put money into Oscars is, and she gives it to... And, she, and Lupita Nyong'o's lip balm, she collects that. She gets money from Kevin Spacey. Uh, but you know what? It, uh, what you said earlier, what you said before when we were talking about this, it humanized them. It was kind of interesting to see all these people in this, the glitziest ceremony in Hollywood, sitting there with their nice little tuxedos and dresses and eating the most down-to-earth food, pizza. pizza. You know, and that was a nice little touch by her. I mean, she, she spent most of the night just joking, again, joking about making fun of And also sitting, the, sitting with the, the award winners, she wasn't on stage the whole time, so it, just, it felt more personal. But the problem is she lost so much steam yeah. as the evening went on yeah. because it just, it, 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 she felt it, it was long. So, I mean, that said, I thought it was a pretty overall good night. I think the award ceremony, they got it pretty solid. Um, yeah, the, award, the awards were good, but the ceremony was tacky and it just felt very unprepared, very long. And I think the Oscars need to learn how to cut down on montages and unnecessary things and celebrate the films that are actually nominated and the films of, of that year. Thank you very much for joining us on Real Salazars. And if you have any comments, concerns, inquiries, you want to keep the conversation going, please find us on Facebook, Twitter, or at latinospost.com.